Okay, so Jacob, this guy here, just hit me up, said that we're gonna go do some astrophotography tonight. He said he's leaving his house about 1 and picking me up around 1.30 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm sure this will be fun. Uh, who am I to turn on an adventure and hopefully I can get some good photography practice in. And we're going to a really cool old abandoned church that I actually had on the Sightseeker idea list for a while now to go check out. So it's gonna be extra spooky at like 3 a.m. because it's like a two hour drive. All right, we got everything charging, so it's ready for 1 a.m. So let's go ahead and while that finishes charging, let's make some dinner and let's get this packed. I forgot I had a leftover meal prep because I had jury duty this past week and didn't get to eat it for lunch. So that just means I don't have to cook and I have more time to get ready. <laughs> Alright, we still have some stuff charging, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a couple hours of sleep before we have to wake up at 1am. So yeah, uh, hopefully I can get a few hours. Sweet, so it's, it's, it is 1.27 a.m. and they're like 10 minutes out. So hopefully I got everything packed and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it should be fun. I've never really practiced astral photography myself, so hopefully I can try and get a couple good shots. Uh, I'm not sure if my lens is up to standard though. Don't know if it has a low enough aperture and all that fun stuff. Uh, we'll see though. We were also joined by our friend Grant, who's in the passenger seat here. Departing Denver, we started our journey by heading out east into the plains of eastern Colorado. We watched the lights go from thousands, to hundreds, to none. And suddenly, we were alone in what felt like an endless void of darkness with not another human soul anywhere near. Eastern Colorado is truly something else. Eventually the roads went from paved to dirt, and I could tell that we were getting close to the church. And suddenly we saw a silhouette of it in the darkness, and we had arrived. Uh, can you grab my camera from inside? It's in the bag. Oh, uh, yeah. It's 3.41 a.m. It's already 3.41? Yeah. Hello. How are you? I did that. Hello. I will give you hugs. You and this is poofy. why you don't come here in the middle of the night. No, this is why you go with three people and don't go into the Oh, you can't like see it, but there is a very creepy church right here. Within minutes, Jacob captured one of the first pictures of the night, and I was really surprised by it. Oh, wow. That's actually so really good. That's fucking cool. That's actually really solid. That is so cool. Wait, what are those lines it. across? Power lines. Like a power line. yeah. Those that's are actually such really a good, cool dude. Photo and that's not even the longest exposure I can do. No. It's actually terrible. When we got here, it was dark out. <laughs> I don't like. I was terrified. Just one door. No, there might be stuff on the back side. I don't even want to know. Very creepy.
But as the sun began to rise, the church turned from terrifying to welcoming in its own way, and it was really pretty. During the Homestead Act, a man named Albert Abbott gained access to most of the land around this area, and he decided to build a church under his name soon. Abbott Church was therefore created, and it's been standing strong since the late 1800s. The local community keeps it maintained and repaints it and fixes all issues, which I'm very grateful for because the church looks great. Hello there. Hello, lads. How 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 how'd it go? How's it how's it doing? It's going good. Nice, nice. Do you think it was successful, Jacob? I think this was a success. We'll show some of the photos a bit better, maybe in the car, and also we'll probably upload them too. But yeah. What about you, Grant? How'd it go? I think this was successful. <laughs> I got a camera, so I wanted to use it. <laughs> uh huh. I I did the thing now. Now I now I can justify this purchase. It actually came out pretty good too. No, I'm pretty happy with that. This, this, and it was all this this church is cool, but also extremely creepy. It the is entire creepy. Right it is less creepy now that the sun's coming up. No, that helps. The yeah. entire right here I was talking to them about not deer. So if you guys want to be terrified, just look up not deer. And then you'll yeah. be good. It's yeah. great. It was so much fun. Struggling to focus. Or yeah. the tall grass. That's a terrifying <laughs> movie. Don't watch that movie. Seriously. Not deer are yep. great. I love not deer. It is 5 a.m. and the sun is rising, so I think we're gonna head out. It is Sunday, so we don't know if people actually come here or not. It's Dutch Bros time. It is Dutch Bros time. We're gonna time. get Dutch Bros. Gotta get it Indeed. in the video. It's, it, it's a must. Gonna have some hot chocolate. That's the plan. And then... It's noisy. <laughs> Till next time. Okay, Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros, this was a win. I'm happy. <laughs> Make sure it's also packed up and like ready to go. Rip tripod that broke. That's a sad bit, because that's a nice <laughs> tripod. I Go stole on. this Gimble. tripod from my dad. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. The on screen now are just some photos that Jacob took. Mine didn't really turn out too well, but Jacob did an amazing job, and I'm actually very impressed with the photo results. This video wasn't really like the other ones, but we do have a normal one recorded that I hope to get out next weekend, so hopefully it all goes well, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.